Hello everybody, welcome to uh, some of the road appurtenances in ISC codes. So let us review some of the road appurtenances that are in ISC codes. Uh, so the first and the foremost is the in let us see ISC 2. So what are the standards for signboards? A standard signboard is 450 mm by 600 mm it is yellow printed and black lettering sign should be placed immediately this type of sign should be placed immediately before intersections confirmatory points etc next isc3 also has some very beautiful points so what are the type of vehicles so you can see that there are many types of vehicles based upon the number of wheels etc so there is type 2 where there are two axles there are type 3 where there are three axles there is type 2 sf where there is one uh, 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 what you can say one truck and one uh, uh, that is uh, truck and trailer are connected and there is type 2 s2 where uh, uh, the, there are both rear and front axles for the truck and for the trailer there is only rear, rear wheels and there is type 3 where bo both uh, S1 and S2 such way of, based upon various combination of wheels what is the maximum axle weight is given in ISC3 so these are for heavy vehicles this is very utility for example if we see only type 2 the maximum gross weight that can be allowed is 12 tons 6 for the front axle wheel and 6 for the uh, rear axle wheel so let us another uh, aspect is kilometer stones in national highways kilometer stones are located usually located on left hand side and these these informations are there so what is the route what is the terminal station what is the kilometer age what is the next important station what is the kilometer age so you can see sample kilometer stone where the root runner number is given this is root number is 75 the uh, the terminal station is mangalur which is 200 kilometers and the next important station is Hassan which is 31 kilometers. So next is we will discuss about in IIC 25 it is discussed about boundary stones. Boundary stones demark the area of the highway and if they are located about 200 meters uh, from uh, on the either side of the uh, 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 pavement. So boundary stones can be made ISC and RCC or PSC. So you can see this uh, stone based uh, uh, what you can say uh, stone based uh, boundary stone. So the what is visible at the top is 300 and what is the foundation is 600. So next let us see what are the in ISC 35 we can learn what we can learn is whenever we are going on highways the broken lines indicates that these lines are permissible and can be passed when there is solid lines like edges of these roads and in the center line there is a very strict restriction for vehicles to not to transgress to the other side of the pavement so next we will see red road uh, ISC 79 discusses about road delineators. These are usually given on cars to help vehicle owners to stay in the road. So there are two types mainly road reflectors and road delineators. One more thing we generally speak of is speed limiters. Whenever we are the bus pass, bus or the vehicle passes through uh, sensitive places like uh, uh, schools, hospitals, etc. 
or enters the city or enters a very steep curve, we give uh, speed bumps. Speed bumps are required to slow the vehicle about, they are about 3 to 6 inches and slow the vehicle to 5 to 10, uh, 10 miles or 10 to 15 kilometers per hour. Whereas humps are 2 to 4 inches in size and slow the cars to 25 to 30 kilometers per hour. You, you can see that humps are milder compared to speed bumps. Another type of reduction uh, is speed reduction ramps. So these speed reduction ramps uh, are used when heavy vehicles are passing. It causes a great inconvenience for them. So these are the various types of uh, road appurtenances which we, I would like which I have discussed. Thank you for listening and visit again. Thank you very much.